welcome to Video Game After Live. I'm your host, Joe Lungi. Joining me today are my panel of experts. Not Evan. Uh, I am Peter. I could be Tyler, who knows? I'm Darren. And we've got a great show for you today. I'm so glad all of you guys joined me. I'm so excited for this week. This Joe's, is going to be the best podcast we've ever done. Joe's really excited. He's been talking about it like since he got here. Since I got here yep. this morning, about half an hour ago. I, so, I'm really surprised that Joe's been talking about the podcast ever since he got here to do the podcast. Yeah, it's a real shock. I'm, but I'm stunned. It's a crazy world we live in. Anyway, uh, we have a new segment we, we uh, lead off with where we review the list of yesteryear's past. Okay. Um, I don't think... You were you were on here, right, Darren? I, I was there before. Are we okay. debuilding the list? Well, no, I'm just going to read the list. You're going to tell me if you have any objections. How, how do you yes, feel about I it? Yes, I have you're gonna, objections. You're going to taste... <laughs> Wait, I don't even know what the list, list is. Week. Yes. Okay, this let's... is last week's top five. It's top five first-person shooters. Oh, oh I don't care, though. Okay, I, was, <laughs> I, I, I might actually have a say in this. I was the week before. <laughs> Number five, Metro... Uh, just the Metro series. Oh, okay. Yeah. Metro... Those are good. Haven't played those. I don't they're, actually know what those they are. They are awesome. They're pretty cool. They're they awesome. seem all right. Number four, Doom, as a franchise. Okay. Uh, fair enough. It kind of broke the way, so. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and the, the latest one's really good. So. Yeah. Number three, Battlefield. No mm. franchise? As a franchise. No. Uh, okay. First, mm, not, over, no. not over Doom. Yeah. 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 I don't disagree. Not was Thomas the last one? Yes, you were. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Clearly. Very Number clearly. two, Call of Duty. Oh okay. my god. Well, no, no. Call of Duty is very important. Yeah, it's I important. Think it's sure. Important. Are, we ju- are we ranking things based on being important or based on being good? Good. Important. Call of Duty is very good. Best. <laughs> I think the uh, Call of Duty one is over one Battlefield Halo? because of the controls, basically. So one is Call of Duty campaigns. over Battlefield, sure, but neither of them should be that high on the list. Oh, really? What should be higher than either of them? Wolfenstein 3D. No. Uh, <laughs> number one. <laughs> Halo is number one. Also, yeah. I can name multiple things. That, Halo, one, Halo, Halo, Halo over Call important. of Duty over Battlefield Shadow War is the there. proper order. However, I can... I can name you multiple games besides just Wolfenstein. If anyone wants to go back, there was a bloodbath between Call of Duty and Battlefield. Which one should be higher? that. It's like so... Whatever. Call of Duty. That's not even... It's so that's arbitrary. Trivial. Oh, yeah. That's this is, no, no, no. This is top five lists. Nothing is arbitrary <laughs> here. Okay. The difference between three and four with, or whatever with Call of Duty and Battlefield is so arbitrary and pointless. I don't even want to get into it. It's just dumb. It's... Halo's number one. That's all that matters. Okay. Sounds like this was a very digestible look, top five. Look, hang on, though. It is. Quake... Not mm. as good as Doom. Yeah, yeah. It sure. Doesn't exist but it's anymore. There you go. Well, well, it's starting it over again. Yeah, but it, there's QuakeCon. It, that's still a it's question. Still around. Yeah, QuakeCon's still a thing. But moving on, let's get into our icebreaker, <laughs> which I think is gonna start off very related to this. So, uh, came up with a game, very original game. You know, I'm very creative. Uh, it's called Reboot Continue Kill. <laughs> I'm ah. going to give you a group of three games. I have. Ten groups of three, so we're gonna do this ten times. Wow. Okay. All right. Thirty and games, Joe. Good job. Man. Yeah, I know. That's a lot of research. Been working all day on it. Uh, you guys are a panel. Yes. You have to agree on which three we are rebooting, continuing. Oh, okay. We're never gonna get out. Yes. of You have to come to we're a consensus. We're not gonna finish the first one. This is not happening. No, you'll be we surprised could. if we have no idea what the thing is, or just give it to him. I'm just whatever. gonna moderate. I'll if you need me to yeah. tiebreak or something, I can help you out. But this is this is for you four, okay? Okay. okay. So just to clarify, reboot means it goes to a different developer. Okay. Oh, okay. No old hands on this project. This is all new blood. From the ground up. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to reboot the series, and I want to hear an idea of like what you think it's going to be rebooted as, if you have it for me. And like maybe the studio you want to give it to. Just okay. for fun. I don't know. Continue. It just continues as it currently is. Nothing changes. Yep. Just continues on its trajectory. Kill. You kill the series off entirely. Okay. Never to be seen again. I fucking don't if, like where this is if going. If there is already. a game on the horizon, right. it just doesn't come out. This it gets is, canceled. This is gonna be a train wreck. I'm telling you right <laughs> now. I'm excited. Joe, Joe, like picked some of these games knowing who would be on. I here, did. And I'm yeah. This is, this is gonna, <laughs> what, gonna what, be a problem. This would be fine if Joe weren't like a diabolical mastermind. We'll, we'll see how bad this gets. Strangle each other. Yeah. We're going to start off... Uh, Do I have permission to flip the table? No. no. Okay. That's an editing uh, <laughs> yeah. disaster. Yeah. Hmm. Number one. Halo, Call of Duty, and Battlefield. Holy shit. Okay. That would have um, been... I, I'm sure uh, you were expecting OT to be I here. thought he would be okay. here for that one. Continue but. Halo. Yeah, continue Halo. Really? They're going place. strong. Yeah. Keep, 
Okay. <laughs> Not what reboot, I was expecting. Mm-hmm. Reboot Call of Duty because they need to restart from all this like near future stuff. They need to just reboot it and start from like World War Two. What start, studio gets it? What studio gets it? I would say. Bungie. Treyarch. <laughs> Bungie. <laughs> but Treyarch already works. So it has to be a completely different studio. I was about to say, studio. isn't Treyarch... Oh, I'll so allow saying... it if you want to just be like, only Treyarch makes Call of Duty now? Sure, so why not? A new studio has to completely make it. I would like that, but you don't have to give it to me. Just for fun. I don't know. I'll just say Id. So they made the most recent Doom. I'll so say you, you killed that. Give it to Id, wow. Yeah, give it to... Call uh, of Duty Id. How about Ed. Gearbox? Gearbox, sure, yeah. Interesting. I would say Kill Battlefield, though. That is just... Played out. Does everyone want to kill everyone. Battlefield? I don't know. I don't feel strongly enough to argue. Yeah, I, don't, okay. I guess I don't. But like, I at the same time, I feel like Battlefield's just a stronger friend. Like at least in terms of gameplay, in terms of how much fun I've had playing Battlefield versus Call of Duty. That, I'm not the Call one. Call of Duty was way better back in the day than Battlefield. I'm back sorry, Thomas. <laughs> which is why a reboot would be better. <laughs> well, Halo like, is still good. Continuing is good. That just leaves Battlefield on the. Just, you gotta cut yeah, yeah. the new Harder. the new Harder. Battlefield game. I hear is pretty good. The yeah, exactly. Game is it's pretty, pretty fun. Good. And then like, like the new Call of Duty that came out was not exactly that great. So. If just you, if for you, fun, uh, do you guys know what it got on Metacritic? No. Eighty one. Oh. The uh, user score is a three point nine. Is this huh. Battlefield or Call of Duty? Call of Duty. And you know what I found I found fascinating is Time reviewed it. Oh, like the I magazine Time oh, yeah. reviewed Call of Duty and they gave it a fifty. Out of wow. 100, I don't know. Damn. And is the 3.9 out of 10? I don't know. Does Time usually do like. <laughs> was this like reviews? a legit like journalist? You like, I, yeah, yeah, like, I was just he's browsing covered through. wars. And I'm like, I'm going to play this game. Why is Time on here? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. Okay. Sounds like the uh, first group is pretty established. No one feels super passionately except Peter. But I would just know, but like. Continue Halo because it's still going strong. No, I, I agree yeah. with that. Okay. But like, I feel. Why would, we, why would we need to reboot Call of Duty? Are we trying to get it back to what it used to be? Yes. Or like. I guess, but... It's, just, it's not going in the right people. direction right it, now. Yeah, that's the thing. Is it going to go in a better direction if it goes back to its roots? I don't necessarily I mean, feel like... I if, mean, if there is a reboot and, like, a new developer gets it completely, it, it would really change what it is now, which it needs to change. Oh, that's what I guess. Saying. If we really want to change what it is, reboot it, give it to Telltale. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have that power. Yeah. I won't say no. I completely Call of Duty, it. the Telltale series. <laughs> LGN. Or whatever it was back in, like, way, way back. I just feel like if we reboot Battlefield, we'll get more of the same. Which is my issue with it right now. Okay. That's fair. Sounds like we have that one uh, under wraps. Okay. Number two. Mario, Sonic, and Crash Bandicoot. Fine. Reboot Sonic. I would yeah. say reboot Sonic. Get, People get like it Sonic. out of Kill the Crash hands Bandicoot. of Sonic Who gives a shit about Crash Bandicoot? Continue okay. Mario. Crash, Crash, Crash Bandicoot. We agree. Yeah, that was easy. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. Who gives a shit about Crash Bandicoot? I, <laughs> nobody has cared about Crash Bandicoot in like 20 no one years. It'd be nice it to see it again, ever. but like it's already dead. So Yeah. yeah. It's already died. <laughs> How can you kill that which is already dead? <laughs> Number three. The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and Mass Effect. Hmm. Another three games okay, I well, have not played. Well, they're not really rebooting because it's not a different developer. But with Mass Effect, it's like they're kind of yeah. rebooting it. Andromeda, let's just, I mean like... If it's killed, it doesn't exist. If it's, it's killed, kind of Andromeda doesn't exist. If it's getting rebooted, then like it's rebooted after Andromeda, I guess. I don't know. Kind of complicated. Or you can just let it continue down this path. I would say kill Fallout. I'm sorry. <laughs> kill Ooh. Fallout. Fallout Four was just such a disappointment. Danny is going to like Damn. storm in here I'll, and like. How much goes out to continue? Because they get overall better, I think. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. Yeah, I feel continue, like continue. I say continue Elder Scrolls. Kill uh, Fallout, reboot Mass Effect, because that's happening already. I think Fallout's been covered. You know it's covered ground. We've, have, yes, we've seen yeah. maybe all that series has to offer. Basically. But I think Elder Scrolls still has room to grow. And I don't like the direction Fallout's going. I still like the direction Elder Scrolls is going. Hasn't Mass Effect already told like a complete story, though? That's like, the thing. It is, what's it's the point of rebooting? It's kind of already being It's rebooted. already being rebooted, yeah, which is why we're just yeah. keeping it as a reboot. And the developer, I don't know. Can we Give it to Bungie. the reboot? Can we just <laughs> Bungie would not change that at all. Give everything to Bungie. Yeah. Well, Bungie wouldn't change Mass Effect like at all. If, keep it the same. if we're rebooting Mass Effect, you know what? Give it to Telltale. <laughs> Give everything to Telltale. <laughs> a Telltale Mass Effect game would be really still. similar to a Mass Effect okay, game. Okay, so yeah. apparently not Bungie not and Telltale need to combine. That way, we can give it to whatever studio that Bungie is. Tale. Yeah. Bungie Tale. Yeah. Bungie Tale. This one will be interesting. Uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Super Smash Brothers. I'm out. I yeah. don't care about I, fighting I, games. Okay, uh, this is not the right panel for this. Uh, hang I on. Actually no, like I think, I think me oh, all right. Can me, like, and, me and Evan can right. work this out. Me okay. and Evan. I say, I want to say continue Smash Bros. Well... 
Maybe. <laughs> what is that Smash noise? Bros. is the one people care about the most. Well, I mean, yes, it is absolutely. I think from an outside. I'm actually a pretty big fan because I don't care about any of them. A lot of the games have been bad. The, the thing is, I think okay. I think I Smash Bros. in the hands of anyone other than Nintendo would be like an unmitigated disaster. So You're I think absolutely a right. would be good. Yeah. Unless we give it to Sega. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, to be fair, Namco worked on the last Sonic Smash Bros. Bros. Yeah, bit, yeah, Sonic Smash. A little bit, but so we. Sonic had an okay like fighting game. It they was, had a fighting. Game. It wasn't great. Sonic it the Fighters. Yeah, like it that was, was not okay. <laughs> I had Look, the best fighting game of, of all time is Shrek Super Slam, and we're just gonna move on from that. <laughs> no, that's one of those one games. Of the few fighting this, games I actually uh, played are on this threesome. So. We just started okay. talking about other fighting games. What was, um, what was the middle one? Street Fighter? Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Reboot Street Fighter, played. kill Mortal Kombat. Oh, so Kombat. I like Mortal that. Kombat. Mortal and I don't Kombat play any of them. Had a new game recently? Yes, yeah. 10. Oh, okay. And then it came out last year. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's actually pretty uh, fun. It was pretty positive, fun. yeah. People... It's pretty fun. Hmm. Reboot Street Fighter, kill Mortal uh, Kombat. I like Mortal Kombat. I don't want to kill Mortal Kombat. Continue. Wait, no, he doesn't want to kill Mortal Kombat. Just agree with it so we can move on. No, no. There is. What's your opinion? Let, let me, let's hear your argument. I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the Smash games, like, they're fun and all, but they're also kind of going the same oh. way, too. So you're, so you're, you're not going to win no. the Smash argument. You're not going to no. win. You're not going <laughs> to win the Smash argument. That doesn't mean he shouldn't fight it. Yeah, yeah. go but ahead. He's not going to win. But like, I'm not going to win, but I can still Yeah. Why? Why? Him. Wait, so what do you want Mortal Kombat to be? Uh, well, Continue or reboot? <laughs> that's hard to say. Uh, I mean, uh, if it were, like, a few years ago, I would have said reboot, because a lot of the games were very not good. Nine but, was like a reboot, right? Yeah, in a way. Um, that's fair. Uh, but ten, I, I actually really enjoyed. A lot of the characters had different things about them. I learned how to play a lot of them, and I have fun with it more often than not. Are you a Liu Kang player? Liu Kang, no. Liu okay. Kang is the right. hat guy, right? All right. I actually, uh, I think my name is Sony Blade. All right. Peter's we just still like sitting here on folded. Though, like, yeah, this isn't my fight. <sighs> Peter seems checked. I would say, say no, anything we're about continuing Super either. Smash. That's that's settled. Yeah, it's not okay. that's a three to one vote. It seems. All right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so then, are we killing Mortal Kombat? Or are we killing Street Fighter? Uh, I've I've actually not played Street Fighter, the newer one. So. It's pretty good. I just feel like I feel like Street Fighter for a lot of people has more of like a nostalgia factor than Mortal Kombat does. Not for everybody. Not I for disagree. everybody, but not for, for me. a lot of people. I don't think that's a fair argument to make at all, actually. I think a I, lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I do. yeah. I still play like two. I would say it's about three. the same. Like I heard a lot more from Street Fighter than I've heard from Mortal Kombat. I literally had to ask like. What? I heard a lot more disappointment about Street Fighter Five than I have heard about Mortal really? Kombat X. I think that's, that is that's the thing. Yeah. Mm. I, I from an outside perspective. People did not complain about Mortal Kombat X. People complained about Street Fighter I'm going to have to stop you there, because Mortal Kombat X had terrible launch problems. It was and, broken and on problems. PC, <laughs> and it was packed with microtransactions. But people still hate disgusting. Street Fighter V. People like Mortal Kombat X. Right Look, now. the reason people... Mm. Part of the why Street Fighter V was an unmitigated disaster is because Capcom is on an unmitigated disaster <laughs> okay. right now. In the most heartbreaking So then reboot okay, it, yeah. So then reboot that one. So there reboot Street Fighter. It's another three, three to one vote. Let's continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We got uh, it. Number five. Metal Gear... Uncharted and Dark Souls. Kill Uncharted because that's stupid. No, kill <laughs> Dark Souls. No, Dark Souls. It continues. Dark, Dark Souls, Souls is good, but like this is another set of three games I have never played. Yeah, so same. Uh, but I like. I mean, I'm kill. You should get on that. Well, first of all, those are three pretty good series. Uncharted is I'm kill. Away. Okay, it no. is kill. Yeah, no, it's what? over. They're not going to do another. Single player Uncharted DLC game. still to come out, man. Yeah. I don't care. It's over. No, it's not over. It's yet. over. You don't want another Uncharted? Isn't every no. Dark Souls game I'm pretty sure the same thing? More or less. It's just difficult, and you go. Wait, what was the third Isn't every Uncharted the same thing? We have wait. What yeah, was the third option? Sense. We haven't even mentioned it. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Which yeah, is kind of already. It. Oh no, it's already killed. It's, we're not killing Metal Gear. Reboot it. Yeah. Well, Reboot booting. Metal Gear. Yeah. New developer. Get out of. Get out of. Konami. Give it to Kojima's new studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, <laughs> we <win>. Boom. <laughs> Dude, we solved all worlds. He doesn't want to do Metal Gear anymore. Too though. late. Too, Too late. bad. We're giving it to him. World hunger. He's done with it. It's all, this it's is all solved now. It's all solved. Kojima oh, has God. Metal Gear. <laughs> Kojima's got Metal Gear again. Okay. Get Kojima back out of the grave. So, kill Uncharted because it's basically done already. Naughty uh, Dog's not gonna do another Uncharted game. I think. They're, no, they're done with Uncharted. I'm pretty sure. Maybe, but like, I like Uncharted. <laughs> I don't like Dark Souls. I think I think Dark Souls has more. So just continue Dark Souls, continue pumping them out. Continue Dark Souls, kill Uncharted. What are they gonna do with Dark Souls? Like, what do they have left to do? Keep doing what they're doing, and people love it. I know, but like they got a formula and it works. I guess. Oh, I could say right. the same for Uncharted. I, I, they got a formula and it works but too. I think Naughty Dog's done with Uncharted as it is already. Allegedly. I just feel like I the just, end of Nathan Drake's story. I just feel unquote. like there is there a story for Dark Souls. 
Yes. Not, yeah. Good, we're not getting into that. It's you have, to, you have to read basically. Like, let's uh, talk about more. You have to read more. Okay, oh, yeah. how about how about Don't something you. how about a completely off the wall? How about something completely off the wall? I'm listening. Continue Metal Gear. Okay. okay. Reboot Uncharted as a Telltale game. Oh, this is dumb. <laughs> I'm about to ban Telltale from the discussion. Forever. I'm kidding, but Bungie Tale. I'm kidding about Telltale, but seriously, reboot Uncharted and kill Dark Souls. Why continue Metal Gear though? Do you know this next Metal Gear game is gonna be a dumpster fire? It's gonna yeah, isn't it zombies or yeah, it's, it's a zombie survival. Survive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which why we just need to either kill it now or reboot it now. I don't that think continuing Metal Gear is not a good option. I don't think it is. Either. It's not a good option. Yeah. Part of me kind of wants to kill Metal Gear and put it out I of mean, its misery. I mean, I think killing Metal Gear is more valid than continuing. Metal Gear Five point. happened. I, I hadn't guess. heard about Metal Gear Survive. I think oh, I agree how do you, with how do you. Not? It's, it's a four because I live under a rock. It's a four, why do you live under a rock? Does this sound familiar? It's, comfy. it's a four-player co-op zombie survival game. That's what we it's, all yeah, love okay. about Metal Gear. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. New plan. Okay. New plan. Kill Metal Gear. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay, that's a valid. Reboot option. Uncharted. Continue Dark Souls. Why reboot Uncharted? Does anyone like Uncharted <laughs> I that like much? Uncharted. Nathan Drake's daughter. There you go. Right. Oh well, my God. Heck yes. No, if done. we're killing Metal Gear, it comes down <laughs> to either part two. continue or reboot Uncharted. And if we're finished with Nathan Drake's story, I think reboot is a better option. How are we going to continue? But why are we killing, Me killing Metal Gear instead of rebooting it? Be I thought we all decided that rebooting Metal Gear <laughs> and giving it to Kojima was <laughs> fucking awesome. Because that feels like cheating somehow. No, it's not. Because uh, at some Joe, point you kind of got to let it die. Right? Joe was like, it has to be like completely new hands, and Kojima is not completely yeah, new I, hands. I'm gonna ban Kojima from working uh, on the reboot. Okay, okay then, Bungie. Yeah. <laughs> it's in space. Actually, you know what? Screw Give it to Rockstar. Rockstar. Uncharted Rockstar stars. could make a good Metal Gear game, I feel like. Yeah, possibly. Hmm. Yeah. So, what's our final decision? Metal Gear Box. <laughs> I agree. I need, hey. an <laughs> I need an answer, gentlemen. Kill Uncharted. No! What? No I'm one holding on. I don't feel that strongly I didn't think this about would be this. That hard. <laughs> I don't feel that strongly about Uncharted. Well, so I don't let either. Peter and Evan duke okay. it out. Okay. What are we between? Wait, killing what are we, Uncharted? Are we or killing, killing Metal, Metal Gear? Gear or not? Yeah, we're killing Metal Gear. Why? Because we can't <laughs> reboot it with Kojima. It doesn't matter. It's still. Uh, fine. Kill Metal Gear. Yeah, right. it's going to zombies. I don't otherwise. play these games. All right, Metal Gear <laughs> is dead. What is Uncharted? Rebooted. Rebooted is a better option for Uncharted than continue. And then Dark Souls is yeah. continued? Dark Souls, Dark Souls yeah, continued. Sure. Yeah. I don't play any of these games, by the way. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> neither do I. This is three people who have never played the game, so you're very passionate. Yeah. <laughs> have you played any of these three? No. <laughs> Wait. Have you played Uncharted, Evan? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay. I've played, played Uncharted series, I haven't played Uncharted 4. Okay, that's fine. That's it's true. better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm flat nothing. I'm just <laughs> flying blind. I spent way too long okay, on that. Okay, so let's, let's get off this. Number six. Zelda... Grand Theft Auto and Overwatch. If we kill Overwatch, servers shut down. Huh. We're not we killing can't. Overwatch. Okay, continue Overwatch. Okay. Reboot Grand Theft Auto because that'd be awesome. We're not killing You're Zelda. Kill Zelda? Kill We're Zelda. not killing Zelda. Who cares about we Zelda? can kill Zelda. We can't kill Zelda. I care about Zelda, but I also feel like you should probably kill it. Yeah. It's, really? I would it's, kill Grand Theft Auto. Dude, over it kill feels Zelda. like they're crawling you know, I can to the finish line right that. now I can, with Zelda. Like, Honestly, it feels like they're like. Come on, please! More people play Zelda, please. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> you're kind of right. They're not gonna. They're not gonna top GTA Five. And I see. That's what they said about GTA Four. <laughs> and three. Look, all I'm saying is that the next GTA is going to be a better looking version of more of the same. Which is why rebooting would be really. I think that's cool. an unfair no, yeah. assumption to make, Tyler. I feel like they could. They have Dude, more GTA stuff. GTA Five did some can... really cool stuff compared to GTA Four with like the multiple players thing. Yeah. It, no. it changed a lot. If they can, if they. Only if they can, like, bat it out of the park like they've been doing, then, like, GTA deserves a spot to, like, continue something. But I think Overwatch is as good as it is. So Overwatch yeah. has to continue. Why would you reboot Overwatch? Like, Overwatch, <laughs> Overwatch is lock continue. Yeah. We, yeah. I can't continue. argue yeah. with that. I just feel like, yeah, Zelda's just, you know, it just feels like an elderly person on their last dying breath. Right I disagree. Now. I'm sorry. Well, okay, wait. <laughs> Do you think there's going to be a new really good Zelda game? If we kill Zelda, does Breath of the Wild still come out? No, it's canceled. We can't kill Zelda. I guarantee you. We are not killing Zelda. I, I guarantee you everyone's going to be disappointed about Breath of the Wild. I'm telling you that right now. But it's on Heroes the NX. is the last official Zelda game to we ever can, come out. That cannot okay, be Zelda's yeah, legacy. That's true. <laughs> I mean, but I was like, pretty excited to play it, actually. <laughs> Is it better to end on a high note or to like just kill it when it's struggling to? I'm fine with ending it on a high note. I'm fine with ending it after Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's emphatically moving no. his arms. Okay, I just feel like rebooting GTA has some really cool potential. Who would we give it to? Who would Bungie. do it justice? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking God. No. Okay. Telltale. <laughs> 
Telltale I'm Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Um, if Reboot were... Zelda is a Rockstar game. Huh. All right. That would be Best a lot. of both worlds. They, be... <laughs> they dropped Grand Theft Auto to work on Zelda. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, Zelda's just... Or like Bethesda. I feel okay Link's with killing around, getting either uh, GTA or Zelda because GTA V, is, at least online, is kind of self-sustaining. First of all, we can't kill GTA because of how important it is to gaming and how important it is to Same our culture. Same with Zelda, though. No, Zelda, Zelda has been important. So clearly Overwatch, yeah. the least important of the three, you just kill that, <laughs> Actually, no, no Overwatch no. is really important to gaming right now. Everyone, um, it's way, it's too big. Zelda it's too big to fail. It not, isn't anymore. Who cares about Zelda? Kill I off. care about Zelda. No, I, <laughs> a lot of people care about it, but like, I see what you're saying. Like, I mean, I see where you're coming it's from, it, but you're it's wrong. Its, course. It's, it's lived its life it multiple times. It is kind of times. on its way out the door with, what was the Wii U game, Skyward Sword? But I gotta get Breath of the it Wild. Weekend. It was a Wii game. It was a Wii game. Yeah, that's so. uh, really the only thing is I want to play. Okay, let's put it this way. Last three GTA games. Did you like them? Yes. GTA 5, GTA 4, and then I think it was... Chinatown Wars is definitely in there somewhere, right? Yeah, somewhere. Some DS portable thing. <laughs> okay, last three Zelda games. What were they? Like mainline canon Zelda games? Uh, well, I don't know. I'm then it, Link, then it, was, it was Link Between Worlds, which, which is was, a remake. Did you guys like it? Don't ask me. I guess it was a remake. I, I mean, no, I jokingly late. say it's a remake to trigger people, but like technically it's not considered one. Oh, I heard, I heard it a lot totally of people that liked it. That was what, it would technically what is the be, joke okay, It would be a Link game. Between Worlds. Link Between Worlds be is Skyward considered Sword, to be very good. It would be Triforce Heroes, right? No, it would be Spirit Tracks. Ooh. Are we not counting Triforce Heroes? And I think that's technically a spinoff. Okay. Okay. Well, well, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna talk about Spirit Tracks. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, we, we Wait, was that, my least favorite Zelda? We don't talk about. Wait, it. was that a mainline Zelda game in the last one? Yep. There you go. We're killing Zelda. All right. Sounds we're killing like Zelda dead. because of Spirit Tracks. Because, because of its track record in the last recent it's years. Spirit track, track record. record. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Do you know about trains? Yeah. Spirit Tracks. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I never played a Zelda game, so I don't get it. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna shut this down. There was now. no pun there, no pun intended. Kill at all. Zelda, <laughs> reboot. reboot GTA, continue Overwatch. Number seven Bioshock, Borderlands, Metroid. Con continue reboot, Borderlands. Continue Borderlands. Reboot it's in a good Metroid. direction. It's only gotten better as the games have gone on with Borderlands, so continue Borderlands. I agree, I agree. Reboot Metroid and kill Bioshock. But yeah, Bioshock. Bioshock's. Yeah. Darren, are you another allowing this? Bioshock's a complete I've only played Borderlands. Game. Another but studio could do something really cool with I would, Metroid. I would agree and I unironically say Bungie at this point. Okay. I'm not even joking. That, that'd be cool. You've already used your Bungie card, I can't allow it. <laughs> okay. Telltale Tale. Yeah. <laughs> no, not Telltale Tale. Number eight I love this joke. Destiny, Watch Dogs, and Dishonored. Continue wow. Watch Dogs because they're. they're a bunch They're of getting games their second game out. We don't know how it is yet. I think we should give them a chance. Absolutely don't give a shit. What about was the other it? one? Destiny and Dishonored. Isn't Dishonored like really good though? Speaking as someone who hasn't played it, <laughs> it's uh, I would say it's cult classic. This is a difficult one because these are many games who just have their first sequel coming up. Can <laughs> continue Dishonored, reboot Watch Dogs. Really? Kill whichever the other one Destiny. was. Destiny. I was Destiny. Like kill Destiny, yeah. Kill Destiny. We all killing Destiny? We all killing Destiny. I don't think anybody shit. cares I enough about Destiny. I think it's, then it's, just, it. it's just a whatever argument with the rebooting or... Watch Dogs is a lot one. like GTA, yeah. right? Kinda. I just, I no. feel like... No. I feel like the fact of the matter is that Dishonored is good and Watch Dogs is not. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I think Dishonored 2 is going to be a lot like the first one. I want to see what Watch Dogs 2 is like. On what mm. they did to improve it, so that's why I want to continue Watch Dogs rather than reboot it and reboot Dishonored. Yeah, Change but you it. killed Zelda before giving Breath of the Wild a chance. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just holding a grudge. Get. Yeah, that's it because is. There's been, there's been 20 Zelda games, there's been one Watch Dogs game. Get fucked. It's not wrong, it's math. <laughs> that is math. math. I mean, Those I'm a numbers. film major, I don't deal with <laughs> math. I'm an econ major, I deal with all of the math. So when we have... Does the math check out, Evan? Yes, it does. God Absolutely. It. So we're continuing Watch Dogs and reboot. It doesn't even matter, this is like a... Yeah, Whatever. no one cares yeah. about these games. Does anyone really care about these we're, games? We, too? we all agreed on Killing Destiny. I Reboot mean, them all. <laughs> Reboot them all. There you go. <laughs> they had one game. <laughs> okay, we're killing Destiny. We're rebooting Watch Dogs. No, no, continuing Watch. Continuing Watch Dogs. We're rebooting Dishonored. Sure, I don't sure. care. That sounds about right. I don't care enough. <laughs> Number nine, Pokemon, oh. Animal Crossing, oh. Fire Emblem. Okay, wait, wait, wait. this is, this Why is, you, you pick this, you, I know who you pick this one for, <laughs> so give me a second. Kill, kill Pokemon. No, kill Animal Crossing. I want it out of our culture. No. Kill Pokemon. No. 
Animal Crossing is cool. No, it's Kill not. <laughs> Animal Crossing is awesome. Kill Pokemon. What do you out do of our, in Animal Crossing? Get out of our sight, guys. I played the only thing that I've played similar to Animal continue Crossing. Continue Pokemon. Was, or, uh, no. Uh, no, no, no. Continue Fire Emblem. Reboot Pokemon. Kill Animal Why, Crossing. Do we really reboot want to Pokemon. Pokemon. Fire Emblem. Give Pokemon to uh, give Pokemon to Square Enix. <laughs> What huh. are we doing? Rebooting Pokemon? Kill it off! <laughs> no, it's fine. It's still good. Yeah, I have friends who, play, who buy the new Pokemon games every. I already pre-ordered out. it. Yeah, I'm gonna buy. I haven't pre-ordered it, but I'm gonna fucking buy Moon it. Moon is on the way for me. I'm gonna get Moon as well. So, give Pokemon to Square <laughs> Enix. Yeah. That means you're not getting Sun and Moon. I don't care. Whatever. Right. I haven't pre-ordered it. I'm no sunk cost. Well, it fucked me, apparently. But. I think it's fascinating you guys want to continue Fire Emblem. Yeah. yeah I, no, I, I find I don't that know fascinating. That. Yeah, like, people that want to still... kill off Pokemon and just get it out of our culture. I actually don't culture. know what Fire Emblem is. It is okay. a Nintendo <laughs> It's this. It's where you can bang your sister. Oh, it's yeah. that one? Yeah. That is the incest game. Okay, now we've started Incest Hour Live or whatever. <laughs> Five incest. hours of talking about incest. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> uh, the reason I say continue Fire Emblem is because I don't trust another studio to do to Fire Emblem, and I want more Fire Emblem games. Oh, I think there's tons of companies that could yeah, do Fire Emblem. Yeah, no, I feel like Fire Emblem can be... You kidding me? Square Enix could do a cool Fire Emblem game. Yeah, definitely. So we're not killing Pokemon. Give we're it not like killing Pokemon. Atlas could do a great Fire I, I, Emblem. I, I'm not it's like, so like, Pokemon is basically like Overwatch. It's I, too big to fail. I think we have to kill Animal Crossing because... <laughs> Animal Crossing is the only one I've Peter played in like to be. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> well, How is Animal thoughts. Crossing not awesome? Well, I, I've like seen a lot of Animal Crossing being played, but I'm, I'm really not sure what you do. Like, is it kind of like you, you don't do so there's, this, there's this Tanuki, okay? <laughs> okay. He, he loans you money. Yep. And okay. then he owns you. Yes. And then you fish, and then you you chop trees down. And then you make virtual friends, and then that's about it's, it. It's Minecraft with NPCs. Not nope. What? That was no, a joke. No, 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 that no, was a joke. No, no, no. Bad joke. No. I don't even like make a home and stuff, right? Yeah. Like okay, I guess I really lost this round. <laughs> so we're killing Animal Crossing. We're yeah. rebooting Pokemon for some reason. <laughs> yeah, and really. We're continuing what? Fire Emblem. No. I question those last two, but <laughs> yeah, no, I question those last two as well. I think you should switch those. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Tyler. Yeah. No. What? I think you continue Pokemon and you reboot Fire Emblem. Yes. Because Tyler hasn't completely shit on Animal Crossing, you did. So I'm going with Tyler. <laughs> sure, okay, we already saved Pokemon from the kill pile. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with rebooting Fire Emblem. Okay. Number 10. The best one of all. Uh. Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. Go. What? Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, how do you reboot <laughs> yeah, wait, a game is... company? It gets bought by another company. Huh. Hmm. Wait, so it's still... Oh. Yes. I'm gonna fight for Nintendo to be continued. EA buys, I would say, say Microsoft. Or continue something. Nintendo. Oh. They haven't been doing. Really? You yes, continue absolutely. Nintendo. I continue Nintendo. Nintendo. Wow. Nintendo is the innovator out of both yeah. of these oh two jackasses for Sony and Microsoft. Microsoft and Sony don't do like anything besides like, hey, our graphics are great and we have great games. Nintendo is also the only company out of the three that still makes like first-party IPs. Exactly. That's not true what at is all. Uncharted Four? Yeah. What is Horizon is Zero Dawn? Wrong. All these games I have. What is Gears of War 4? What is Halo 5? Like, what? Is what? what are those? Okay. What are these games? Most likely going to PC. Mm, that's not true either. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Halo 5 went to PC, or at least the Forge did. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking about more Sony. So oh, okay. Forge, yeah. yeah, Last Guardian will not be on PC. Hate to break it to you. Um, okay. It's fine, like, man. personally, I don't play a lot so of So wait, Sony if games. we kill Microsoft, do I lose my computer? No, no. they're just out of the console biz. Oh, okay. Console. Kill Microsoft. I, oh, no, don't kill Microsoft. <laughs> but they don't make first-party no, games no, no, either. No, Microsoft is making the HoloLens, which is going to be better than VR will ever be. They can continue making that, they just won't have an Xbox. But it won't be with gaming. Facts, yes. So, no. Okay. Continue HoloLens. Can't it be with PC? Potentially? What do you mean? I think it could be. Microsoft yeah. You could have third parties just work with it oh, okay, to make so, games okay. for it. I don't see why not. There we go. Right. Fucking kill Microsoft. But why? Why, why Yeah, are we why Sony? kill Microsoft? I don't know. Why kill Sony? I mean, someone's gotta die. You gotta give me a reason. Somebody's okay. gotta die. Personally, I, I don't play that many Sony games, so I'd rather kill that and then reboot Microsoft. I don't mm. know. Hmm. I'm I mean, fascinated. I, would, I would say there's an argument for both. Have we games, locked Nintendo as a continue? Yeah. yeah. We've all agreed on wow. that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Unexpected. You are literally the only one surprised. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Sony or Microsoft? I mean, it, I think there's just a valid, really valid argument for both. Con con like, if you're just considering what games you like. Yeah. I think I think Sony should be rebooted because mm, wait mm. no 
Okay, so we're rebooting One of them has to be Microsoft. rebooted, which means someone buys them. Meaning all its first parties are being rebooted. Um, sure, why not? Okay, I would love to see Halo restart and see what that turns into. That would be That would be really cool. Who buys Microsoft? Who? Yeah. Tell Apple. Apple. <laughs> Apple. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. You get your mobile uh, Halo game? No, okay. You set to go. I track that statement. Yeah, Don't no. Buy Microsoft. Don't let Apple doesn't buy get to buy anybody. Oh, that. Uh. Microsoft gets bought by I mean, Sony. Problem solved. Like, rebooting Sony, I'm not that interested to see what they make. Nintendo whoever buys it is. Sony. <laughs> Done. Yeah, how about Nintendo gets whoever gets rebooted? How about That'd that? I mean, technically, I guess go. it's allowed. Okay, let's do Microsoft because Sony's another Japanese company, so why do that? Who's dead? Kill Microsoft? Sony, re reboot oh, Microsoft. Yeah, kill Sony, Nintendo continues and buys out Microsoft. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Nintendo becomes a monopoly. Cool. Not well, either way, cool. there's Monopoly. Darren, are you okay with this? I really, I don't know. Darren does not care. What do you mean care. you don't know? <laughs> right. Darren, come on. You have to have an opinion and on And with that, right? our icebreaker is over. Congratulations, everyone. I win. You're all monsters. There's a shattered <laughs> pile of ice lying on the table. Jo and why souls. were you surprised about and Nintendo? Zelda. No, Next no to my dreams. <laughs> oh, come on. You have a reason. No, on the you, table know what, you know what I have a reason to talk about video games coming out, though? What have you been playing? That's the worst segue I've ever done. <laughs> yes, it I've is. It's all your fault. Two though. different topics. I, I played Shantae like, recently. I replayed that because I did a segment for it. What is Shantae for people who do not know? It's a Metroidvania type uh, game that has a lot of basically heart. That's what I like about it. If you it. want to find it's... out more about it, check out our first 10 <laughs> minutes. I'll show on Tuesday. Now, way forward. It actually won't show on Tuesday. Way forward was working on this game for a long time, yes, if they I were. remember. Yes, How? This was a Kickstarter from, like, 2010, I feel Yeah, like. it was a while, and it came out in, like, 14, 15-ish? Did like, it actually come out, though? What do you mean? I didn't know that the game came out until this year. No, it, it came out a while ago. I was playing uh, Pirate's Curse in 2015, easily. But they just recently released a physical copy. Is that it? No. They've had it on... What? what what, what, I'm confused now. Oh, like, you broke Evan. I, I broke Evan. I, I thought that game came out this year. No, absolutely Oh, no, not. Half Genie Hero came out this year. That came out? That came out this I year. I didn't play that. <laughs> okay, that's why I was confused. I thought we were talking about Half Genie Hero, which came out this Evan, year. Evan, no. let go, I think. Uh, wasn't, wasn't Pirate's Curse the one that was uh, kickstarted or whatever? Yeah, or? I think Half Genie Hero was too. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I've heard of that game. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. I haven't heard of Half Genie here, but I've heard I've, of I like Pirates vaguely Curse. recognize that name because I've heard it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I don't. <laughs> it's it. I think the first game was a Game Boy Color game. Yeah. And it's super expensive. It's like two hundred dollars for a cart. It's apparently rare now. Or... It's pretty pricey. Yeah. So. But yeah, they're they're kind of neat games. It's got a cult following. Way Forward's a really cool developer. Yeah. I, uh, I really like them. They do good work. I love the characters. I love the in <laughs> the crazy stuff that you do in game. Like, I think I, I didn't get to, like, expound on this, but, like, as one of the puzzles, you have to, like, get the smell of a ham in your genie lamp, bring it up to a dragon who starts drooling, which makes these, like, girls who are vacationing, like, change into their swimsuits. But they're so, they're so pale that, like, the sunlight just, like, reflects off of them into like a jewel that opens up a temple and it's just... Wait, I think like I a... have to play this, yeah, this game. It sounds, sounds awesome. like a point and click adventure game. No, like, no. So, I know I'm saying it, it that does, kind yeah, of scenario. Like yeah, like, it's like not bullshit. I was it's like, are so... we sure this isn't just a Sierra game? <laughs> yeah. It's so so over this the top. This sounds awesome though. The new yeah. Monkey Island game. <laughs> it's just fantastic. The writing's great. It doesn't take itself seriously at all and it's just really fun. And you just replaying it for fun? Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. All right. Peter, what have you been playing? Um, I recently got into the Halloween spirit because that was, you know, a couple weeks ago. Ooh, that's too spooky. It was very spooky, <laughs> and uh, Undead Nightmare for Red Dead Redemption was on sale on Xbox. Like, it was really cheap, so How I cheap? got that. It was like two. It was like two, three dollars. Yeah, yeah like, compared that's to like nice. the pretty 10. cheap. Yeah, Good price. Yeah. Um, and it's awesome. It's basically I think it's one of the best DLCs of all time. Mm -hmm. It's basically its own separate game. Agreeable. It completely. It's basically. It's like a WoW expansion pack. It completely changes how you play the game. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. So I've been playing recently. Just replaying it again for fun. Just replaying yeah, it again. Just yeah, just making your way through. Nothing else really, Dad. That's it. Just <laughs> that's, playing. That's pretty much that? it. Yeah. It's been busy for sure. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Yep. Tyler, how about you? Well, in the spirit of everybody having been replaying things, <laughs> I replayed the first three games of the Ace Attorney series. Oh yeah. Yep. Right. That takes some time. It yeah. did take some time, uh, but it was a 
It was a good experience. I was reminded why I love Trials and Tribulations so much, because goddamn, is that a good game. Godot is pretty cool. Fight me. Godot's a cool <laughs> oh. guy. I said he's a cool guy. Spice. Yeah. What's this? I don't know who the hell Godot is. Spelled God O T. His name is Godot, obviously. I know him. He's the laser. I don't pronounce dude. Like Godot. Like the... It's Godot. Oh. I don't even know the character. Know, but know knowing that spelling, about. I would pronounce it Godot. It's <laughs> Godot. Yeah, he wears a mask. He's a cool guy. Yeah. Drinks a lot of coffee. A lot of spoilers lot of involved. <laughs> Anyways, I also have been replaying Fire Emblem Awakening because I had my DS and was on a plane and was like, you know what? Why not? What difficulty? Hard. Okay, is that just this like number two difficulty? Yeah, that's There's like two. normal and then there's hard and then there's lunatic and then there's lunatic plus. I think you have to beat it on either hard or lunatic to unlock lunatic plus. Yeah, you do. I... Uh, so I have not actually unlocked Lunatic Plus yet because I realized I'd never actually sat down and beat it on hard mode. You no. don't want to play on Lunatic Plus anyway because that's just a bunch of coin flips and there's no fun in that. Fair enough. I'll probably settle for Lunatic at some point. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You having a good time though? Is, is it as good as you remember it? Yeah, it's still solidly, I think, my second, maybe third favorite Fire Emblem. Your first favorite being? Uh, seven. How many are there? Fourteen? Four wow. Fourteen if you count Fates as one. Why did I think there was like three or four? There's a, well, there's not <laughs> oh, that many wow. that came out in America. They, you know? they didn't start coming out in America until number seven. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. And also one of those is Shadow Dragon, which shouldn't count. <laughs> it's a cool name. Darren, how about you? What have you been playing? Uh, well, I guess the most recent games I've played, I played two of them like on the same day, was uh, Mortal Kombat Unleashed and the first oh, okay. dungeon of Minish Cap. Oh, I love Minish Cap. <laughs> All right. Okay, so after we go around shitting on Zelda, we're going to talk about Minish Cap. Have you played Minish Cap before? Not, no, not entirely. Okay, what are you thinking about it? Well, um, the first dungeon was pretty cool. I mean, it's the first dungeon. It's very, fairly yeah, easy. Yeah, it's where you turn all small, you go into yeah, the earth and dungeon. and you're, like, sucking out the yeah. <laughs> spider webs and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, you fight a caterpillar, you get a yeah. gush jar, and then that you sounds... fight, a, fight a giant choo-choo. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like Luigi's Mansion. Kind of. Okay. Oh, There's a barrel. That's another good game. You sure? It yeah, was in our top five sure. GameCube games. It was, it was number two, wasn't it? Some might say it's it? the second greatest GameCube game. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I was in the camp that said it's the second Evil, greatest. Oh my god. Not even in the top five. I Resident mean, Evil doesn't deserve top Resident five. Resident Evil 4? Are you talking Resident Evil was like multi Let's not do this again. That is true. <laughs> I don't know if that disqualifies This is for another time. Rebuild the list so I can get <laughs> Metroid Prime off the list. Yeah, there we go. Did you ever finish um, Super Mario RPG? Uh, no, I'm very close. Oh, uh, uh, come on, dude. How close? Such a good game. Go uh, I think I need like one or two more stars. Okay. Nice, nice. You get to the Cloud City yet? Yeah. Okay. Okay, All right. yeah. He's close. Cloud He's Cloud getting there. He's getting there. Cloud City's a ride, if I remember correctly. So, uh, what I have been playing, I finished Ace Attorney 5, Tyler. Yeah, we, uh, we talked about that. Yeah, it was pretty good. I don't think I liked it as much as 1 or 3 or 4. I would agree with that. But um, definitely better than 2. Also agree. It's kind of weird to see it like transform into 3D because Phoenix Wright has been this 2D game and I really like the sprite work and now it's like 3D polygons for everyone. It is a little disconcerting. It's a bit of a change. Especially at first. Some people just look weird, you know? Like I think Phoenix himself looks kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And some of the, like... The the one thing I think that bothers me is like the in court reactions. Like seeing those in three D is weird. Also, the voice acting. There's occasionally some voice acting, and it's so weird it screws with me. That's right. There is. I forgot <laughs> about that. Yeah, and I heard in six, it's like more fully voiced, Ooh. like completely. Like okay. every dialogue might be voiced. Oh wow. Maybe really? that means. That it's good. <laughs> Maybe. You we'll sound see. hesitant. But um, we, talked about, crossed. we talked about Ace Attorney 5 a little bit last time I talked about it, so I'd rather talk about Mega Man X, which is a game I started two days ago. I beat it in two sittings. It was really good. The only Mega Man game I've ever played is Mega Man 2. I was going to ask, has anyone played any Mega Man games? I haven't played games? any, but I've heard really good things about Mega Man X. That's Unfortunately not. <laughs> like I hear constant praise about it. So I love Mega Man dearly, and I have never played X. X is the Super Nintendo version, well, not version. Basically, it's the evolution of the series onto the Super Nintendo. Okay. So, like, the first Mega Man series, because there's sort of, like, five splits, is, like, core Mega Man NES games. 
Then they took the series to the Super Nintendo, kind of like you got Super Mario World from Mario yeah. 3. Mm -hmm. And they made it X. <laughs> they made them edgy. And I love it. Okay. <laughs> it's like, there's a little bit more attitude. It's a little grittier, you know? It's like... Oh, he's kind of sassy. I mean, there's <laughs> grit to it, you know? Because, like, there's robots trying to take over the world, which was in the earlier games. But now it's like, you know, it's like doomsday almost. Yeah. Like, oh. like there's actual, like, like, mass destruction and stuff going they're on. Stakes. They're stakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. take mm -hmm. over the world. Exactly, and it's like a hundred years into the future after the first game. So like so, NES yes, Mega for? Man is like Maybe. the 90s Batman movie, and then uh, uh, Mega Man X is the Nolan that, trilogy. That's good, yeah. But like the game is about like, you're this robot, Mega Man X. That's actually your name. I think you're technically a different Mega Man than original Mega Man. You're like a newer mm. model I always something. assume that, yeah. What you were, different makes sense. You're programmed by the same dude though. Dr. Light still made you. And Dr. Light made you with the like ability to make your own decisions. Which is like super dangerous for a robot to do. Like Dr. they can Light choose a hobby. that like breaks robot <laughs> code. Asinoff's laws, man. Anyway. Does it? Yeah. 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 It so does. he was okay. sealed away for like a hundred years. It takes place in twenty XX instead of twenty OX. We made it to twenty XX, boys. Twenty <laughs> XX. And basically like you wake up a hundred years later and there's just this destructive world around you and you have to basically choose like I'm gonna fight for the humans and try and save them and it's basically same stuff. You go around fighting robot masters, you get their powers, but there's like secrets. secrets. Like there's upgrades you can get. So like one of the things that totally turned me on to this game is like just going through a level, I have this like dash boot upgrade that lets me dash like farther. And I just find this secret boss just hidden in this world. I kill him and then I get like a breastplate that makes me take half damage. Huh. Wow. That was so cool! It's a secret boss. I was, like, completely sold on the game. He's just tied out. You find, like, health increases to increase your max health. You get, like, E-Tanks you can pick up, and they're, like, permanent. And you just fill them up as you're at max health, and you pick up health points, basically. And okay. And it's just awesome. So let me get this straight. In a darker and edgier version of a pre-established series, you play as a character in a morally gray area... Fighting to save the world from an apocalyptic scenario in a game which you can go off the beaten path and get hidden secret upgrades. Also, there's a lot of wall dump, wall jumping. You jump, like, on the same wall to climb it. It's hilarious. What I was going to say is that Mega Man X is literally Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> no, because... Oh my God. Tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me why I'm wrong. Because one of those is a good game, and one of them is terrible. <laughs> wow, I thought Ouch. you said you liked Mega Man X. It's oh. amazing. Ooh. We had a great time playing it this past Tuesday, didn't we? Oh, yeah. We had a great time <laughs> playing Shadow the Hedgehog. So that's pretty much done it for me. I'm probably going to go on and play X2 <laughs> now, because I just got the whole collection. So we'll see where that takes me. Hit me where I hurt Peter. <laughs> and with that... I'm still mad. We can, uh... We can move on to our main topic for the show. If you guys want to talk about something specifically, I have something in mind, or we can just move straight on to okay, making a so top five. Okay, so me and Tyler list. had something happen yesterday in a game that we're relatively interested in. Oh yeah, is this a Sombra thing? Yeah. yeah Sombra so came uh, out. yeah, for those of you who are not aware, uh, Blizzard finally revealed Sombra. Finally, being the key word, because that stupid ARG or whatever that they did was so dumb. I'm still upset about that. I was, I, I just didn't care. Yeah, honestly, like at after, a point. <laughs> after maybe like day three, it's just like okay. I so. was like, I'm patient. I can wait for the official reveal. I'm gonna let Reddit tear themselves apart over this. Well, the thing was though that is, the ARG completed at one point and it led to nothing. So it's like, what was the point? Why did they? For even... those who don't know, what is the ARG? You gotta explain the story behind this. <sighs> okay, so base. I don't know what an ARG actually stands for. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, so right. I don't either. Alternate reality game. Something like that. But basically, the idea was that Blizzard released an official website, basically, sort of in the character of Sombra, being like, oh, she's a hacker. She's like doing all these hacking things, and there's some sort of upload going on. And it had an actual, like, progress bar. And it was trying to go to, like, zero from 100%. And I think, like, within the first two days, it got to, like, 10%, like, really fast. And then, like, for over a month, it, like, went to a crawl, basically. And, again, we expect, like, oh, once it hits 100%, that's going to, like, be some sort of big, important reveal. Maybe not revealing the character, and maybe not being able to play that character... But, you know, some sort of, like, information dump or something cool happening. 
But no, it was basically just like, oh, we were able to hack into a bastion. It's like, well, yes, this character is a hacker. I would hope that, like, she'd be able to hack into something. So. I think, I think a big part of the issue is that, from what I hear, Blizzard underestimated the ability of a bunch of people on Reddit to have things better to do than just sit there and try to figure out the ARG. So, like... Obviously, they should have planned out everything ahead of time, but they didn't because they thought their little puzzles and their clues would take time to figure <laughs> out. No. And no, Reddit got it, like, the day it was posted. And it, so it was just announced at BlizzCon, right? I think so, It yeah. wasn't actually yep. released. Yeah, yeah Sombra's not... not out yet. Right. Didn't they also... I, I just read, like, a headline. Did they also announce, like, new game modes, kind of, or something? They, re they announced new maps. It was new maps. With oh. new game modes, I think. That are going to be tied to new game modes. I didn't see the part about new game modes. Yeah, uh, I think it's something with like a 1v1 and a 3v3. Huh. I don't know exactly any more details than that, but just that they're revolving around two new maps. Tell me about this character. Tell me about Som Sombra. She's Sombre. In... Som Sombra. 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 Yeah. Sombra. Sombra. Something like that. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Uh, they released a new short. So in case anyone's like really not into Overwatch but into the shorts, there's that for you. But, uh... They're comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> okay. Okay, I had to absorb that one. But anyways, uh, Sombra's an offense hero, uh, revolves around being invisible and being able to, like, teleport and hack into things. So, Torp... You, you can, air quotes, hack your enemies to disable their abilities, yep. which, A, is hack really anything. dumb... And B means that her sole job is to ruin the other team's fun. Yeah, no, I mean, there's... Sombra is literally the fun police. <laughs> so is May. Like, I saw a comic basically to where it's like, with May you have no moving, and then with Anna you have no healing, and now with Sombra you have no abilities. So it's just like, good luck with playing anything. Also, her ult disables shields and barriers. And a various amount of ults. It's like a hard counter to, I think, Lucio's ult. So, yeah, that's fun. So you are all... people like excited about this? That doesn't sound like a fun character to introduce. She's, to the she sounds game. brilliant to play. <laughs> <laughs> also, she's got a really cool design. She does, but yeah, it's mixed to where it's like, oh man, that'd be really cool if I could play her well, and then a bunch of other people are like, oh my god, she's going to be a nightmare to deal with. Zarya players are like really mad right now. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Because Zarya's all shields, right? Zarya's entire thing is she can shield herself and also other people, and also she's arguably the best character in the meta right now, and Sombra's hacking basically hard counters her. So I don't really see a problem with well, releasing good, a character yeah. that counters the best character. Oh, I didn't say it was a problem. I just said people who play Zarya are really mad no, about no, that, it. No, okay. That's a good yeah. thing. Sure. When Zarya's right. like overruling on the meta game, you gotta fix that. It's not like... To an absurd degree. I mean, she's definitely very good, but I wouldn't call Zarya broken. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I've been your host, Joe. Still not Evan. I was still and... Well, am I? Speaking. Wait, yeah, I am Peter. <laughs> I, uh, I have received confirmation from my superiors that I am, in fact, Tyler, so... Glad we could get that cleared up. I'm Darren. <laughs> this has been Video Game After Live. Thanks for listening. Let's continue talking about incest. Now.